He has delivered the most stunning uh, bloody nose uh, to those establishment parties. Uh, and uh, I want to introduce you now, my very great honour, to Nigel Farage, the leader of UKIP. Thank you. <laughs> On the 5th of November 2010, quite a good day in politics, really, it seems to me, um, I was re-elected leader of UKIP for the second time, and I said in my opening speech that my aim and ambition was for us to win the European elections in 2014 and to cause an earthquake in British politics. I sent this to a room devoid of any journalists at all uh, because nobody decided to come. A couple of online websites uh, thought we were worthy of mention. Well, that dream of mine has become a reality. And the People's Army that support UKIP, uh, despite shed loads of abuse that have been thrown at us over the course of the last three or four weeks, went out, voted UKIP, and this party has done something that hasn't been done for over 100 years. We have won a national election in this country, and I'm immensely proud of that achievement. I really am. And it's all well and good changing the rhetoric on some of these major issues. Most of you have thought for years that every UKIP voter is a retired half-colonel living on the edge of Salisbury Plain desperate for the reintroduction of the birch <laughs> and only cheering up after the first pink gin of the day. Well, we've got a few of those that vote for us, there's no doubt about it. Uh, but actually, we cross, as Paul said, all social divides. It would be absolutely ridiculous for me uh, to stand here uh, and say go home and prepare for government, because that ain't going to happen. The Eurozone in the Mediterranean has now gone into deflation. We have youth unemployment rates of approaching 60% in two of those countries. And frankly, what would you do if you were a young man or woman living in those countries? Well, you come to the one country that thankfully had the common sense not to join the Euro, and despite our debt repayment problem of a billion pounds a week, we're doing much better and we're diverging from the rest of the Eurozone. Our game is to get this right. Our game is to find the right candidates. Our game is to, to target our resources on getting a good number of seats in Westminster next year. And who knows, if you do hold the balance of power, then indeed there will be a referendum. We did not succeed in vetting those people as well as we should. Um, and we're going to have to focus more on resource. We're going to have to get in some new people. We're going to have to make sure those kind of mistakes never happen again. Not, of course, that the coverage of that was entirely fair, uh, given that during the, during the last two weeks we saw 17 Liberal Democrat, Conservative and Labour councillors arrested uh, for everything from child pornography to assault. But we know the spotlight's on us, we know we've got to get it right, so I accept that we got that wrong, barring a promise of perhaps a referendum following some futile. Somebody up there, because it's just over four years ago, that I crawled out of the wreckage of that, of that aeroplane but wondering whether I had much time left to live. And here I am today uh, leading a party that has won a national election. So thank you to that somebody uh, that's given me this opportunity and thank you to my family who have had to make absolutely huge sacrifices in order for me to do this job. I promise you one thing. If any of you think you've seen the high water mark of UKIP, you ain't seen nothing yet. Thank you. <laughs> 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 just stop for a second. People are wondering because are you not going to. Is anybody going to stop? Anybody going to stop? I just want to get a flavour of what sort of politics people have because we know where you are on immigration and. Europe. But we we heard. We've been around for 20 years. We believe this country should be a self governing nation and that it's the first duty of the British government to put the interests of the We've not been doing that. I'll ask you just simply, seriously, how proposition is positive. Well, I think it's very positive. Well, 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 Well, it's very Okay, we're off. Thank you, Mr. Hello, oh, there you are. I want to You're going to come with me, you two. You might as well. Yeah. 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 Yeah.